Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor website design course video series. In the previous video, I have shown you how you can create the contact page for the website. In this video, I'll show you how you can link these items in the footer section to the respective pages. And we are also going to create the template for the error 404 page. So let's see how we can link these items in the footer section. Let's go to edit with Elementor. We are going to work on the contact page only, or you can go to the theme builder, go to footer section and edit the footer template from there. Or you can also go to the footer section on the contact page, select footer. And from here, you can customize the footer section. Let's select this one. For the home, we have already set the site URL. So whenever someone clicks on home, it will go to the home page of the website. Let's go to about. Click on this dynamic tag, go to internal URL, select content and search for about. We have already created about us page, select about us. So you can use the dynamic tags to link the pages to the respective item so that in future, even if you migrate your website from one domain to another domain, you don't need to add the new domain or the new URL manually. It is going to pick up that URL automatically. Let's go to services. Again, go to dynamic tags, internal URL. Type will be content. Search for services or our services. We have it named as our services. So it will show the our services page. Select that one. Then go to contact. Go to dynamic tags, internal URL. Type will be content. Search for contact. You will see the contact us page. Select that one. Then go to blog. We have created the blog page also. So select internal URL, content, search for blog, select it. All right. Now let's publish it and go to a view page. Let's go to home page and go to footer section. If I click on about us, it will go to about us page. If I go to services, it will go to services page. So we have used the dynamic tags to link these items in the footer section to the respective pages. Similarly, you can create the services pages and link these items with the respective service pages. Now we are going to create the template for the error 404. What is error 404? Error 404 is not found page on your website. Let's say here in the URL, we have this slug for the our services page. And by mistake, if someone enter incorrect URL instead of services, let's say I am going to add services with an extra S. And if I enter it, it will say that the page cannot be found. It looks like nothing was found at this location. So this is the default 404 message. If someone tries to access the page which is not available on your website, then the 404 error message will be shown. All right. And if I correct the URL, it will go to the correct page, All right? So let's go to dashboard, go to templates and go to theme builder. We are going to use the element of theme builder to create the error 404 page template. Let's click on it. You will see an option here, error 404. Click on add new. Okay, so you will see some pre-designed templates are already there. If you want to use the pre-designed template, you can use the pre-designed template or you can create the page from the scratch. If I click on this one, this is how it will look. We have 404, then we have a button to go back to home page. If I go to this one, it says page not found. We cannot find the page you were looking for a return to home. So there is a button to go back to home and some animation is there. All right, so these templates also look good. In order to use these templates, you will need to connect your website with the Elementor account. If I click on insert, it will ask me to connect the website with the Elementor account. All right, let's close it. We are going to create it manually. So let's click on the plus sign here and add a new section, All right? And I want the minimum height for this one. I'm going to use, let's say 600. All right, so this is going to be the minimum height of this particular section. Let's go to style settings and Let's add a background image for this one. Let's use this one. All right, and let's change the position to center center. Attachment will be fixed. No repeat and cover. 
let's add background overlay let's use the blue color and change the opacity all right this is how it will look now click on the plus sign and use a title or the heading or the heading option here drag it and drop it it is at the top so we are going to add some padding at the top let's add 100 pixel all right let's go to heading change the alignment to the center and change the color to the white and uh, let's change the font size to 100 pixel let's make it 80 pixel and let's add some content let's say error 404 duplicate this one and let's say page not found okay so this is what the error message click on plus sign and add new heading center align it and change the color to white and let's say the page you are looking for is not available on the website all right so this is a simple message let's change the style or the typography normal all right and below that i want to add a search box so click on the plus sign again and search look for search drag it and drop it here okay so this is a search box now let's change the width of this search box to let's say 50 percent and center align it so this is going to take 50 percent width and people will be able to search for the content that they are looking for on the website right and below that i want to add a button to go back to home page so let's look for the button here drag it and drop it center align it and add the content back to home page let's add icon here that will be arrow and use this arrow all right so go back to home page let's go to style settings and let's change the typography let's make it bigger let's add some padding also all right so this is the button let's go to content let's add a link click on dynamic tags and select site url so it will go back to the home page of the website all right now let's click on publish and this is going to be a 404 page which is already selected so you don't need to make any changes to the condition click on save and close all right let's click on view page and this is how the error 404 page will look now let's say i want to search for project visualization which is a service that we have so click on search and you will see that the result is there so this is the search result let's go back and here you will see the button go back to home page if i click on it it will go back to the home page let's go to about us page and let's add something that is not available let's change it to uso so it will be an incorrect url if i search for it you will see the error 404 page that we just created so from here they can search for the content that they are looking for or they can go back to the home page of the website so this is how you can customize the error 404 page template using elementor theme builder so in this elementor website design course i have shown you how you can create a simple business website using elementor theme builder now this is not the end of elementor website design course i have published more than 100 videos on elementor tutorials if you want to watch these videos i'll give you the link in the description box you can see that i have published a video on how to install elementor template kit and create a website using elementor template kit this is an advanced video tutorial on how to create a website using Elementor advanced custom fields and custom post types. In future, I'll be publishing more video courses on WordPress, Elementor, WooCommerce, Astro theme, website automation, and search engine optimization. So do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I publish a new video course. So thanks for watching the Elementor website design course. See you in the next video.
Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.